With the evolution of scientific technology and extensive study of the universe, there have been many strange things picked up by scientists. From noises to unexplained radio waves, these are five of the most mysterious signals sent from space. Lorimer bursts were first discovered in 2007 by astronomers who were analysing data from the Parkes radio telescope. The astronomers found a bright 5 millisecond radio burst recorded in 2001 from a mysterious source billions of light years away. Analysis showed that the highest frequency arrived first, which is a sign that the signals passed through the intergalactic medium, which is beyond our galaxy. The signal was dismissed as being of terrestrial origin, but in 2013 researchers announced the discovery of four similar radio pulses coming from 5 to 11 billion light years away. To make this even stranger, the energy released in the signal's production was as much as the sun releases in four months. The origin of the signals remain unknown, but light travel time arguments suggest an origin on or around a compact object like a neutron star. The Soviet Union's Yuri Gagarin became the first human to journey into outer space when his Vostok spacecraft completed an orbit of the Earth on the 12th of April 1961. But some suggest that Gagarin was just the first to survive spaceflight, with several others being lost on failed missions. This theory is supported by audio recordings made by two Italian brothers who were amateur radio operators. The brothers claim to have heard radio communications from secret Soviet space missions, like a female cosmonaut lost during re-entry and a faint SOS from a troubled spacecraft leaving Earth's orbit, which slowly faded as the craft drifted away from Earth. This is strange because these transmissions were heard four months before Gagarin's official launch. While attached to a balloon high above the Earth, searching the sky for faint signs of heat from the universe's first stars, the arcade instrument detected a mysterious roar of cosmic radio noise. The signal from the distant edges of the universe boomed louder than predicted, measuring six times brighter than the combined emissions of all known radio sources in the universe. Though astronomers have ruled out known radio sources like primordial stars and radio galaxies, the origin of the signal remains unknown. In 2003, SETI astronomers pointed the Arecibo radio telescope at 200 of the best candidate signals for extraterrestrial intelligence. All but one of these signals failed to show up again. SHGBO2 plus 14A. This signal was observed three times at a frequency near 1420 MHz, one of the main frequencies at which hydrogen absorbs and emits energy. This is also a likely region of the electromagnetic spectrum where extraterrestrials will broadcast their presence. Positioned between the constellations PCs and Aries, the mysterious signal appears to originate from an area that has no stars within a thousand light years, and its true source has yet to be discovered. On August 15, 1977, a SETI project at the Big Ear Radio Telescope detected a strong narrowband radio signal near the Chai Sagittarius star group. The signal was discovered by Jerry Amon, who circled a computer printout of the signal and wrote WOW in the margin. This is how the WOW signal got its name. Each digit on the printout represented the intensity of a radio signal, from 0 to 35, with those over 9 represented by letters. Observed over a 72 second scan, the signal grew in strength to a point, signified by the letter U, 30 times greater than the noise of deep space. With this signal being narrowly focused and extremely close to the 1420MHz frequency, it is considered to be the most credible candidate for a signal being of intelligent extraterrestrial origin. So what do you think of these mysterious signals? Let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to keep in touch on all my social media sites, the links are in the description. See you next time.